This wasn't worth it. I'm gonna need these back. Uh, thank you. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. Fuck me, that fucking kills, mate. It wasn't worth it, Toby. It was not worth it. Rack it up, rack it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing a cake out Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse Ball it up, ball it up, I'm with the gang, we taking shots off the rebound Fuckin' my post, this ain't now, I been humble too long, yeah Tell them all to stay calm, yeah, tell them all to move on, yeah Fuckin' my post, this ain't now, they be lost in the sauce, yeah Took a loss, that's your loss, yeah, had to get my point across, yeah I'll tell you what, my ankle still hurts. I think I've sprained it, I don't think it's broken, it's nothing mad. Like I said, I'm just gonna lie on my bed and let it all blow over. So if there's me, woo! Today's video is about my home cinema. Let's go. Alright then, this is my cinema set up at my home. It is the best thing I've ever made, ever built, ever spent my like, time on. Since coming to this house, I've had this massive wall over that side of the building thinking that I'd look sick with a project screen on it. Um, but somehow we've ended up over on this side anyway. It's just because of where I put my bed, where I've moved things to. It all makes sense. Anyway, this video, I'm just going to run down what I bought for it, how I did it, and... I used to have a 32-inch TV at the end of my bed about here. And that used to do me. That did me for the whole of uni, the whole of, like, six months living here. It did me fine. And then I swapped it for a 40-inch that Matt had downstairs, and that made quite a big difference. Now, that is an 80-inch image. 80 inches from the same distance I'm used to is a very big difference. Here's the projector. As you can see, it is mounted and it is on. It isn't very loud. If you stop and listen, you can, you can barely hear it. I don't notice it in bed, even though it's cooling down this massive lens and all that heat and power going to it. It's crazy. That is attached by a visa mount in the hole in the ceiling. Like, that is a literal... That is a cutout in the... <laughs> that is that is literally a cutout I did with a bloody power jigsaw. I jigged a little hole in the ceiling. And you might think, Jacob, that's going to really mess up with your landlord's property and you shouldn't have done that. That is where the light fitting for this room is gone. So when I leave, when I take everything away, away from this house, I unscrew that, I take it with me. All I have to do is put a light fitting back in that ceiling and it will cover the entire hole. No one will have any idea there was ever anything in this room unless they go in the attic but the chance of someone going in the attic is very slim because it is impossible to get up there without a pair of ladders and I had to go steal some from the pub to get up there so it's not going to happen basically. Over this side we have a Sonos Beam speaker. Now the Sonos Beam speaker is now about 330 quid from Amazon which is really cheap for what it is. It is a soundbar and it sounds 
beautiful. And because it's shown us, it connects to the internet, you can control it from anywhere in the world. And um, it connects to She Who Must Not Be Named or Google Home. Works very well indeed. You may also notice these little ones in the background. They're my left and right, you know, surround sound system. So the Sonos beam is the center and that projects most of the volume. Uh, but if you hear little gunshots or movement or cars, they come out of these back speakers, which is crazy. And in bed, which is just there, it sounds insane. How have I got a Chromecast on that TV? Because if I say, okay, Google, play YouTube on bedroom TV. Sure, playing recommended YouTube videos on bedroom TV. Okay, Google, stop YouTube on bedroom TV. Um, we're back to the Chromecast. So that is a very cool feature. It basically means that I can use my voice to control anything that's on the cinema, which is really good and very handy for Netflix. Um, when I found a film I want to watch, I can just cast it to the screen or straight away just cast, you know, with my voice. You can also cast Pornhub, YouTube, Twitch. You can do your whole Chrome browser. So when George watches the whole, when George watches world football on, on the computer, we can just cast it to the big screen. 80 inches of whatever you want to play, which is really cool. As soon as I edit my videos as well, I can go on VLC Media Player and render it out onto that screen, which is really cool. I can watch my videos as soon as they've been edited in really good quality on a big image. Really, really big fan of the screen. Um, interesting fact, very, very interesting fact about my cinema. If you come and sit on the bed with me now, you'll get a good idea of what I'm on about. Oh. This is an Xbox controller. Oh yeah, it is actually an Xbox which is connected to the projector. I can play GTA 5, I can play any game I want, watch all sorts of content, all through my projector, but it is still a Chromecast in the middle. And the reason why... The reason why is because I've got a Xbox One S upstairs in the attic, like it's literally got a shelf in the attic mounted. I can't go in the attic because of my leg, I can't show you, but it's literally mounted to the wall in the attic and it has a Chromecast going in the HDMI input. I built it all myself and just look at how beautiful that is. That is what I go to bed with every night. Um, and when a girl comes around, you know they're getting impressed. You know that is an impressive thing. So, here's for the fun part, the smart voice thing. So if you're watching, put mute on your Echo Dot or whatever. Um, cause I'm gonna use a lot of commands, so. I have a, um, RM Pro 2, which is a small device, if you Google it, go on Amazon, and it sends off RF and IR blasters signals, so your normal TV remote, you can program it to work on your phone. I've had it for years, and I've only recently just started programming it properly. Toby chewed up the remote for the projector, so I had to program it to my phone. Now my phone can control everything in this room. It can turn off the monitors, the lights, the fridge, the cinema, the volume, the blinds, everything. Everything is controlled by my voice on my phone in this room, which is awesome. Um, so with all that, with all that programming, with all that done, I can let you say, Alexa, turn off the cinema. And that literally presses off on the remote and sends the screen up, which is so efficient, so easy, and it literally makes the room so much bigger. There's no need for a TV stand, there's no need for anything. I've got all this open space, a whole sofa in my buddy room, um, and then the screen goes away and it's like it was never there. Um, okay Google, close the blinds. I, I, I love everything in this room. It took me a lot of time to do, um, and a lot of screws, a lot of money. Um, and it's made me quite good at you know doing stuff around the house. So I was literally on crutches this morning, um, but an update: I am actually feeling a lot, a lot better on the leg. So that is it. I hope you have enjoyed my cinema tour, um, and let me know what else you want to see. Um, I might have to start cutting my own hair because it is getting a bit long, and I think that'll be a funny video which will come out soon. Um, until then, thank you for watching. I hope you're all feeling well. As much as this is such a terrible thing that's going on, I'm slightly liking the society that is being built where we're um, spending more time with family. I know I'm not, but I'm still first. I'm, I'm ringing them more than I ever did. Um, I'm being a bit more appreciative of what I've got. Um, 
I'm trying to learn new things on the computer, trying to learn things out in the garden. I unblocked a drain today, I, I did a bit of gardening. I'm going to start revarnishing the decking, painting it, redoing the garden up, which is just stuff I never would have had time to do. I'm eating properly, my dogs are eating properly, I'm actually training the dogs properly and taking them for walks as much as they should have done from the start. And somehow, Green King, the company, is paying me in full for being off, which is ridiculously generous of them to do so. Um, so I'm in a very fortunate position where I'm getting paid to be off, which is really good. Um, stay safe, uh, abide the rules, don't try and be above the law. Um, and honestly, the, the quicker we stay indoors and we stay separate and we social distance, the sooner this will all get over and done with and we can start living our lives again. I know when the pub reopens, it's going to be absolutely crazy. The parties we're going to have, getting the lads back here like I miss Matt and George, getting back around the house, get these videos getting a lot better. Um, and honestly, the amount of free time we're going to have, I have no excuse but to try to do this YouTube thing again because I've just I dropped off this year I do apologize but I do have two kids now and uh, I have a full-time 60 hour 70 hour job a week which is crazy but I enjoy it and I'm enjoying everything I'm doing at the moment so be appreciative of what you've got and maybe build your own cinema in this all this spare time you've got so leave some comments below of films I can watch because I, I do need I'm running out of films I have watched a lot of films this past few weeks I'm just about to watch Bloodshot um, with Vin Diesel and then The Hollers, which is out in 2016. It's quite an old one, but it's still quite a good film. So thanks for watching. I know I've dragged on. Um, leave a like and see you in the next one. Bye. Rack it up, rack it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse Ball it up, ball it up, I'm with the gang, we taking shots off the rebound Fuckin' my post to say now, I've been humble too long, yeah Tell them all to stay calm, yeah, tell them all to move on, yeah Fuckin' my post to say now, they be lost in the sauce, yeah Took a loss, that's your loss, yeah. had to get my point across, yeah Heard them lasers talking, now that we don't pay that no mind. Didn't need a